is a good girl. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. Guys, I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time off. I had to get through that storm that came through. And then I had a couple of health issues I had to get worked out. And I really needed rest after that. So many of you have emailed me and said that you're praying for me and my family and things like that. I wanted to take the time right here to tell you thank you so much for doing that. That's greatly appreciated and your prayers are working. Let's go ahead and open up with prayer and give thanks to the Lord for everything that he's done, he's doing, and especially what he's about to do. There are so many different birth pains going on. They're all ramped up right now. We're going to talk about some of them today, but rest assured I've got some new content coming for you guys. And I do appreciate your prayers. Like I said, it, it means a lot to me to know that I'm not alone in these final moments and that you guys are watching and waiting for the Lord with me. So you can't make this stuff up, guys. I'm glad that you're back. We're going to have a great time. Let's go ahead and get started. Father, I come to you now and I give you thanks again for dying on the cross for all of mankind's sins. Thank you for saving a wretched sinner like me, Father. I ask that you let your presence be known in this message today and that there be no interference. I pray for the families and the children of the subscribers that are watching, Lord, that are still not saved. I believe time has run out, and I believe you're about to take us home. So I pray for them, Jesus, that they turn to you, and they open their hearts and their mind to the love that only you can give. You are the one true Messiah. You are the appointed one. You are my rock and my refuge and my redeemer. And I will proclaim you again to the world that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. I can't wait to see you, Lord. I love and miss you. And I thank you again for every single provision that you give freely that we just don't deserve. We will remain humble and patient. We are so excited to go home to paradise forever, Lord. Thank you so much. I love and miss you. Amen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have a great time hanging out. This is big right here. You want to talk about earthquakes? Japan had a 7.1 earthquake last week, and I've got a video that I'm going to show you, but I want you to take a look at this where it says why Japan issued its first ever mega earthquake alert. I'll scroll down just a little bit here, and it says on August 8th, the JMA issued its first ever mega quake alert after a magnitude 7.1 earthquake rocked the Miyazaki prefecture in southern Japan earlier that day. The Miyazaki quake injured at least 16 people and generated minor tsunamis up to 50 centimeters tall that reached the country's coastline about a half an hour later. This is serious guys. What they're basically saying is they are preparing for the big one. They're calling it a mega quake and I'm telling you you can't make this stuff up. I believe that time has run out and that these are the birth pains that Jesus was telling us about in Matthew and Mark and Luke. A first of its kind warning across Japan Thursday for a long feared mega quake following a powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake that rocked the country's southern coast. Reverberations felt for miles, caught on cameras in offices along the coast and at an airport. Please evacuate right now. Tsunami warnings issued following the quake, urging some residents to leave the seaside, but so far, injuries and damage have been minimal. Researchers have long warned of a mega quake, eight or nine magnitude, potentially even more damaging than the 9.1 that set off a tsunami in 2011 and ravaged Japan's northeast coast. The disaster, one of the worst in this century, killing more than 18,000 people leaving parts of the country in ruin, including a nuclear disaster at Fukushima that rattled the world. There was a magnitude 7.3 earthquake that happened two days before that earthquake. And about 5% of the time, we see that there is an earthquake called foreshock that precedes a larger event. Japan sits on the circumpacific belt known as the Ring of Fire, where tectonic plates meet, leading to lots of quakes and volcanic activity. The U.S.'s Pacific Coast also on the Ring of Fire. Southern California just getting hit with the 5.2 magnitude quake Wednesday. Experts believe we should be ready for one of those mega quakes too. There's a lot of effort being put into preparing for such an event in terms of both the, the seismic hazard, the ground shaking, and the tsunamis. 
preparing for what seems unthinkable but might be inevitable. Dana Griffin, NBC News. I'm telling you, that is jaw-dropping stuff. I love seeing what my Lord said would happen, and then it comes to pass. I know that we're almost out of here. I'm very excited today because I know that my King is on the way. He can't lie to us, and he will not fail or forsake us. While we're getting excited, guys, and we know exactly what's happening, you have to stand up and tell somebody about Jesus in these final moments. I want you to continue to work for the kingdom. I don't want you to give up on your family members that are lost and hardening their hearts toward Jesus right now. I want you to continue to pray for them and show them verses like these that say, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. It's not just about the flooding, guys. It's not just about the earthquakes. It's not just about the lawlessness. It is all so about Israel being surrounded. I hope that you see that today. I hope that you believe what Jesus said is true because he can't make a mistake or a lie. So we need to latch on to that, hold on to our faith, and believe that he is on the way for us. These things have to occur and no man can stop them. Luke 21 11 says there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. If you are a born-again believer you have nothing to fear, you have nothing to worry about. Jesus is on the way. Jesus is going to take his church home. It's a pre-tribulation rapture guys. You can't get around it in Revelation 1, 2, and 3 the church is the topic and that is what is being discussed and then in revelation 4 we are gone we are the 24 elders surrounding the throne and we are throwing our crowns at his feet it is going to be the best time that we have ever had there is nothing that's going to compare to it and it's going to be for eternity it's not going to be for a short time that's what we're doing up there as worshiping jesus and I'm very excited about that today. I hope you are too. Mark 13, 8 reiterates the two verses that we just took a look at. It says, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. This is exactly what we're seeing right now. That's why I have a smile on my face because you haven't had that missing component that we do now. Israel is surrounded. You can see the maps just like I showed you on the last video. You can see the geography is what I mean to say right there is it is happening. So while they're being surrounded, it also says right here, there will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. We've definitely seen those two things, guys, and it's continuing to intensify. At the end right here of Mark, it says, these are but the beginning of birth pains. And so that should get you excited today and let you know Jesus is on the way. Jesus is not lying to us. He told us that these things would happen. The Bible has always predicted the future. So I don't know about you, I'm going to put all of my faith and my trust and hope in the Lord because I know he is about to descend and take us home. Guys, I love you. I miss you. I'm praying for you. If the rapture isn't right now, a few moments from now or even tonight, just do what we always say over here. You keep looking up and we'll see you up top.